Hey geeks, if you're just starting out on your Blu-ray collection journey, then it could definitely be overwhelming. And one of the big questions that you might have is, how many Blu-rays should I have in my collection? Well, today I'm gonna to try to answer that because I have been collecting movies and shows since the days of VHS, two Laserdiscs, two DVDs, and now two Blu-rays. And so I'm gonna give you my own personal thoughts on this. And so I think for the vast majority of people out there, they're probably someone like myself who just is an average lover of movies and shows. And for those people, more than likely, they're probably gonna have about two to 300 titles on their list. And for a lot of people, it's gonna include the 100 to 200 best movies and shows of all time, which most people can relate with. For example, more than likely, they're gonna have Star Wars on that list, uh, Terminator 2, classics like Gone with the Wind, and there's so many others that I think a lot of you out there know of or can relate with. And so that's why I say for most people out there, if you have about two to 300 titles, then more than likely you're gonna cover all the main ones that are most popular all time movies and shows. And that is how I actually came to this whole idea of what is a good number. And one thing that I highly recommend is that you actually have some type of list at the beginning of all the movies and shows that you really love and that you wouldn't mind watching over and over or have already done so. That way you make this whole idea and whole process of collecting much easier and most importantly, you're gonna save a lot more money because then you're not spending a lot of money on titles and shows that you might not really watch. And that is a big thing because if you are into collecting, the whole idea of collecting is really fun, really exciting, but it can also get extremely expensive. So that's why I first highly recommend that you make this list and more than likely, you probably have two to 300 titles on there. And then for everybody who goes beyond that, people who have 1,000 or more in their collection, then well, they are serious collectors or they really love these movies and shows. And for those, I would say those are the minority versus the majority. And so those are my thoughts on how many Blu-ray titles you should have on your list. And once again, I recommend having your list first and then going out there and beginning the process of collecting and enjoying this whole journey of Blu-ray collection. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did wanna see more of my movie, show, and physical media collection videos, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on another episode. Hey geeks, if you are a brand new creator and you simply want something easy to get you started, well, I got something for you with my Creator Starter Kit. This is a super simple step-by-step -step guide that's gonna take you from having no channel to developing your very first YouTube channel along with ideas, thumbnail designs, and other creator tips, including marketing. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and get started creating.